What sh kind of shape was it in? Well, you remember you we stuck a screwdriver through it? We did stick a screwdriver through it. A new mass mizzen partners. These are sloped notches. The bolts pass through the purple heart. Except they did the wrong knee. They did the wrong. See how things are going. Okay. There we see what's going on. Take a closer look here in a second. Check in with Clint. He's had uh, some surgery on his knee. It's all good now. It's all good. No limping anymore. All right. <laughs> yeah, you can barely see anything. Two huh? tiny holes. Two tiny holes. That is amazing. That's amazing. Well, congratulations. Except they did the wrong knee. They did the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, on the other hand, had a penis enlargement, and it didn't take. So uh, there's nothing to see. Still. Still. Still nothing to see. I like the support. I love the support. Thank you. Um, okay, so here we are. Here we are. We're back. Day 455. Is it? It's about something like that. Something like that. The back one eighth of the boat is pretty much done. We had to put in two new deck beams and a, uh, we kind of rebuilt the propane box and uh, a new mass mizzen partners. These are sloped notches. The bolts pass through the purple heart, half inch bronze. And uh, we're going to put some more blocking in tomorrow. These will be going in here. It's really just for this one bolt because once this aft combing part is on, this is very strong. So. so it's just to pick up that one bolt that's under here? Yeah, a little bit of compression in case we want to do something with our deck coming in this way. Okay, okay. So these were new beams that you made. I remember also the bolts were all rusted. Everybody yep. might remember all the bolts that were rusted. Yeah. So and just take, take us through the construction. That's a piece of purple hardened again in there? Yeah, and this, the, the original ones, the bolts were out here running right alongside the blocking, which was, uh, I think John said the right word, it was more or less just pinching the block. These pass through the block, so they're acting, they're of course squeezing all this together, but they're also acting as half-inch bronze rods to, to keep from splitting. We got that piece of purple heart out of a knot hole, it was right here, so that, that the way the grain goes around the knot is very strong right there. A little overkill, but what the heck, we had the piece of wood. And also, theirs was only about half as thick, and so we went ahead and made it full thickness of the beam, so this notch goes from about 5 eighths down to zero. So that is all very, very solid now. Very solid. And the bulkhead itself is notched tightly around the block, too, for, for more uh, strength. Okay, very and nice. <clears throat> the beams come all the way out to the hull. And Let's we had to over. dig these bolts out. There were bolts in there? The bolts here going through the shelf, and then there's another bolt about an inch in from the bulwarks that goes all the way through the shear clamp. It's about eight and a half inches long. So we're able to get those out here and up at the main beam up by the cabin, up at the back end of the cabin. What do you see in there? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. All right. So we're not coming back here right now. No. Done here. Pretty much done here. We have uh, we got this rabbit pretty much cleaned up all the way up to here. We're gonna we're gonna change these out. This was like a repair that was done. There was some rot in the deck here. So we're gonna change these out so we get a little bit better compression there. And as we go, we, we smiths all the bare plywood that the box used to be. 
Yeah. We use Smith's penetrating epoxy and then a single coat of Bill's Gray. So they were just bare plywood, so there's nothing, <laughs> nothing protecting it. Whereas now it's sealed up nice. Now we have a nice clean box. Change out that too, the uh, propane pump. Yeah, we'll get to the, that. By the way, in the bottom of this box, we, we put the tanks in. You need new tanks because they're really rusty. To avoid that in the future, we're going to put little pads about, oh, even three eighths of an inch high and then glue Irish felt onto those. Okay, what's Irish felt? Irish felt is tar impregnated wool. <laughs> the two most waterproof things on earth. Wool and tar. Wool and tar. So <laughs> it comes in different thicknesses. We have some that's about an eighth inch thick and you glue it down with tar and put the, the, the propane tank on there. Now when there's vibration and the tank wiggles and squeaks, it doesn't squeak, but it doesn't wear the paint off. And of course it cannot rust because it's sitting on Irish felt. Like when you do a fuel tank or a water tank, you'll see people put them on strips of rubber or plastic. Not good because they will slowly through vibration remove the paint and become a moisture trap. Whereas you, the Irish felt doesn't do that. Is there a, a drain in that tank? Yes, right here. Okay. There's a drain and yep. it goes to a through hole right out the hole below the water line. Oh, okay. Um, Is that to keep the propane from building up inside the oh. compartment? <laughs> if you look carefully at that through hole, it's forward of the drain. Another forward. Uh -huh. no, that's <laughs> Which might explain why your tank's rusted. Right, it's forcing water in. Yes. As you go through the, as you go through the water. Right. We were going backwards a lot. <laughs> oh, this is the bow. Yeah, this it's is a right. sandpan. <laughs> but uh, so that through hole, if you reinstate it, should go out in the bootstripe at least a foot or so after the <laughs> one would. Let's go take a look at the uh, main, the big log. Okay. okay, this is the main beam. From this side of the boat, the other is almost 10 feet, and it goes all the way into the uh, covering boards, out to the hull planking. There was a, a bolt here that went through the shelf, about four and a half, five inches long. <clears throat> There's another bolt about here that was buried underneath the covering board that goes through the shear clamp. It's about eight and a half inches long. So we were able to get those bolts out and clean all this socket out. But you drilled it up and drilled it out? How did you get it out the head? Well, we just had to split the old beam out, chisel, chisel. Oh, okay. And then reach in there with a sawzall and, and, and cut the bolt off and pull it down. <laughs> so now we'll drill upwards and there'll be another plug here. Okay. And same back half on right, those beams. Right. <clears throat> so that's how many, that's like six or seven? Six. Six. All beautifully glued. Yep, this four go under the uh, covering board and then these two bring it up to the deck level. And they stop here. The same as notching the beam, that's what they did originally when they built the boat. And then this is the famous log that was made out of Honduras mahogany. Yeah. Um, so that's so the piece sitting on top. Yeah, that piece is glued to the underside of the cabin back, and of course the deck beam too. And that had to be. So right here in the middle, you got about ten layers. Well, it's actually eight. You got six plus two for the log. <clears throat> Goes all the way across. Beautiful. So that was all in how? Well, how what sh kind of shape was it in? Well, you remember. We, we stuck a screwdriver through it? We did stick a screwdriver through it. <laughs> we stuck it through the mold. Our worry was that the back, cabin back was rotten. Luckily, it was intact. It was just that log in the beam, uh, mainly because of the fresh water standing in those corners and whatnot. Right. We, I remember here we had some all kinds of funny stains and things like that. Yes. Yes. And you remember this, had, this was pieced in in a few places? Yeah. The log? Yeah. Yeah. So that's always a bad sign. So this should all be now eventually tight, waterproof. We should yep. not be getting any leaking mm -hmm. from here. Nope. When we get the window back in, we'll reseal that. Yep. Beautiful. Let's go take a look from inside. Okay. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. And Charles, look at that. 
they're all tipped back into the other. But because there's only two clamps here, they're just two small clamps. And the aluminum is not strong enough, it's not rigid enough. So we're gonna have to seal it, we have to figure out the problem. We're talking about the, we're talking about the propane box, yeah. Yeah, this was it was added after the deck was on. <clears throat> because the beam you can see this is where the old uh, bolts went through next to outboard of the mizzen blocking, which was only that thick. <laughs> it actually was this thick, but it was notched, which weakened the beam, whereas the slope notch doesn't. But it was here, and then they had cut the deck off here, and there was a little short plank. Beep, 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 like that. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. So we're not going to do that. We're going to put a blow this out, we're going to put a new piece across that's wider, and then our okay. new lid will have planks made out of teak, but instead of being caulked, they'll have a slight V-groove in them for traction and appearance and drainage, so that this, the, the new right. propane hatch, and by the way, it'll only be this big, well, so there'll be a margin be, board here. Right, you have a real margin board. Yeah, that way it's not this big massive lid that you've got to take off, and it'll sit down inside we can't get in trouble. We, we are looking at the hatch, right. the lazarette hatch. And you can see the actual deck thickness here from back in the day. Yeah. Well, this was left in because this hatch is a real pain because of the way the subframe is built. You see it? Okay. Built in four pieces. We're going to do it a little bit differently uh, just to make it easier. This was. So you're going to redo that? That subframe. Well, here's the problem. You see these bolts? Yeah. <clears throat> they come through the frame, uh, through the hatch, through the deck, through the frame, and they are uh, buried in here. Mm -hmm. So, and, and because that bolt, that plug goes kind of a little bit up into this lip, you're going to have to take a lot of care to get that plug out. So when it goes back together, it looks like something. This is why they call it work. Right. <laughs> And why you're a ship's right. That's why this is called a hatch instead of some four-letter word. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you see going on there. So the chart table was interesting. It was made out of uh, chopsticks and veneer. That's the top of it. It was made out of little chopsticks. Blue yeah. that, blue side to side. See all these? I mean, Why on earth would they have done that? I do not know. Was it really made? It's like up? laminated. It's like yeah, laminated. Lamin or delaminated, but it was all these. And you can see the, the, yeah. the veneer peeling. So it was some very mysterious construction type. I don't understand. And the, the, the chopsticks that were here just fell out. Huh. How funny is that? How weird. You okay, we're looking at here manifolds for propane. Roger that. Um, you got your little gauges on here. But you see this here was about to go it's really mm -hmm. corroded. You have an iron fitting with a brass or copper fitting attached oh. to it. With some, then we'll throw in a little bit of electrical just to speed the process up. What was that, what was that the... It was electrical, electrical for? Well, this is for the uh, switch. Oh. Propane on, propane off switch. Oh, right. right, right, right. So the, the, the line that goes to the stove or whatever right. accessories yeah. goes out here. It's up on the boat still. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we don't like know the there. age of that, so rather than take any chances, you just replace all this stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah there's no and this is the little bulkhead that we changed. Because it wasn't horrible, but it was just crappy enough to where we said, you know, by the time we clean this up, we can make a new one in 20 yeah. minutes. All right. So we just made a new one. And uh, okay. so there.